you're literally just in, like you're now of yeah traditionally marrying age. So and a remember, bunch of sleazy men are like, now I can yeah. hit on her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's right. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome along to the Community Notice Board. Let's run it. <laughs> Hello, welcome to another episode of Community Notice Board, a podcast about suburbs we grew up in, local landmarks, hometown heroes, and coming of age tales. Oh boy, we got a real good episode and a very special guest today, a very funny comedian. Alexandra Hudson is here. How Ooh. are you, Alexandra? I'm very well, thank you. <laughs> awesome. Oh, it's good to have you here. And we're Ooh. we're going we're going Tiny small town. country yeah. town. We, we love a country town. Small country and we towns. haven't done a small country town in a while, I feel like. Not yeah, not for a little yeah. uh, not for a little bit. But this time, uh, and I'm hope I'm pronouncing it correctly, tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow. tomorrow. Yes. Oh. Score one for me. <laughs> yeah. Riverina, right? Yeah, Riverina. Riverina era. Yeah, yeah. It does it sounds like uh, the setting of like a fantasy novel or something, you know, tomorrow I can see like, like an apocalyptic. <laughs> Drew's like only two pods. What is this? The end of the world? End of the world. There's seven pods. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like playing a, an RPG game or something. Oh, you're picturing like a quaint town quaint where you town. go. Quest Maybe there's stuff. a dragon just outside. <laughs> <laughs> you know, some ancient magic under the ground. Well, there, there is tomorrow dragons. Oh, there okay. we go. And there is gold there, apparently. Oh, yeah. okay. well, you know Capricorns. Yeah. <laughs> My instincts are correct. Yeah. So when Drew when Drew shows up in full plate armor, <laughs> people won't be like, "What the fuck is this guy doing?" Here? Well, I mean, you know, speaking of the dragons, me and Alex were talking because um, we were just doing some cursory research, and the the amount of rugby league talent out of this town yeah. is phenomenal. It's, like, yeah. it's something in the water out there, eh? It's, it's unbelievable. Crazy. Like it's just probably algae. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. It's some sort of like superpower yeah, thing. Definitely. But it's um it's a it's a pretty small town. Yeah, it's four and a half thousand people. Right, okay. Yeah. And and is it one of those cause like for us, like a country town is Wagga, but Wagga's like the big city. Wagga's right? like the big smoke. Yeah. You went to go shopping yep. or to the movies. Mm-hmm, or, mm-hmm. Yeah. And you drive like eighty five Ks. Just to go to the movies. Jeez. Jeez. Yeah. Right. And that was nothing. We would just do it for fun. <laughs> yeah, right. Just to kill time. <laughs> yeah, eh? I remember when we got our peas, we'd do Macca's runs mm. to, to Wagga. <laughs> right. Man, that's a fucking round Two trip. Two hour round trip. Jesus yeah. Christ. That makes it more satisfying though, yeah. I think. Um, I, cause I was on the, cause we love the, uh, you know, like community boards, the Facebook groups and stuff. And there was a lot of people there who were really excited about rumors of a reject shop opening up because <laughs> 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 they, someone saw an ad on seek that was like hiring reject shop in Tamora and someone posted like, is this real? Like, <laughs> 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 yeah, because we growing up we had Clint crazy bargains. Yeah, we had that yeah, in Queen, yeah. So I don't think they recovered from that. Yeah, <laughs> all right. We Clint won, we lost his back. mind. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this went down the gurgle. Yeah, we had Clint's crazy bargains, and then it became the warehouse at some oh, point in yeah. Queen, yeah. And my brother, my brother worked there for ages. I think my sister. It's as just well. all like the same knockoff, not knockoff, it's but it's just exactly. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's well, like a two dollar shop but bigger. Yeah, mm. like a big kind of warehousey mm. vibe. Yeah, massive warehouse vibe. So what was so it's four and a half thousand people did you say like yeah, roughly so roughly. what are we like from no maccas as you say you yeah, know movies we have, we have, we have one have. now wow yeah. isn't they, that the way you know yeah they got it uh maybe nine years ago right okay yeah um we have a cinema but it's a volunteer run cinema <laughs> in the old library <laughs> What? Uh, what is what is that? What does volunteer run mean? It means it's you don't get paid. <laughs> no, right, okay, right. <laughs> no, I hope that like is it like a, is it basically just a screen that you go down or or like they wheel out a big TV? Or like <laughs> you still have to pay for no, tickets and stuff. I remember they said I'll get um, but back in the day they brought titanic to the town and Beautiful. they showed it at the services club <laughs> and it was on a screen and they had an interval <laughs> yeah. yeah so that but now it's a proper like little theater with a cinema yeah, like cool. with an actual projector and um yeah i actually work there 
for a year when I was 20. Pay wasn't great, though. Pay <laughs> 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 great. But community spirit, that's why. Yeah, right. that's yeah. very yeah, cute. Yeah, yeah. I love that's how they cool. brought Titanic to town, like some guy with like a DVD thing, <laughs> like <laughs> travelling yeah. across yeah. the country. And it's they're like, like the passing of the Olympic torch. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they're they, looking at through the binoculars, like, he's coming, you know. They get every rural town. <laughs> yeah, exactly, just travelling. It's like a travelling theatre, like a yeah. travelling theatre, just a guy so with a DVD. Did we have an episode about that recently where someone was like from a small country town was just like, yeah, the movie theatre was like a car park where they'd wheel out like a projector. Oh, I think um, oh, Pat, Pat's um, yeah. Malakuta, I yeah. think it was like, it was in wow. like a, P, a PCYC or something like that. And it was, yeah, and it was the same thing. It was, uh, um, it, they had intervals. They had the, like yeah. the stop, yeah. change the role, everyone has a break. Has a <laughs> they should bring that back because I always need to piss in the middle of the movie and I'm <laughs> furious about it. And I, gotta, like, I gotta like sprint out, come back, ask if I missed anything. Hey, how do you do it, Jamie? You can't last an hour <laughs> pod without pissing three times. Well, I don't drink six beers during the movies. <laughs> <laughs> so that's just, just You would pods. if you could though, wouldn't you? <laughs> Yes, <laughs> yes, I would. So you don't you you live in Ballina now? Yes, yeah, so I live in Ballina. I moved to Ballina um, when I was twenty two. Right, so you had yeah. twenty two years in, yeah. in in tomorrow. Well, no, like eighteen, and then I moved to Sydney for two years, and then back for mm. a year, and then I was like, "Get me the fuck out of here!" Yeah, yeah right, really? right. Um, yeah. I don't know. It's just Your a country very, girl. very small town. Mm. It's a very interesting. There's not a lot to do. I think that's the reason why we have so many rugby league players because mm. there really isn't anything else. It was like rugby league, Aussie rules, and netball. Yeah, yeah, and okay. Whatever other sport. Mm. Um, I I just I didn't intend on like um bringing this up as part of research, but just mentioning like small town that yeah. just produces a lot of rugby league talent. Yes. My little brother sent this to me uh, a couple of weeks ago. This is a like an article in the newspaper from like the 50s, right? Yeah. It's Tarkata versus Tumbarumba. Yeah. Which are two, not like near-ish, like a couple of hours, yeah, yeah, but in that Tarkata, area, in the Tarkata. Riverina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I know both of them. Um, So this is just a, a lineup for the local footy game. And so Tarkata, you've got fullback, H. Penrith. they have got winger is A. O'Brien, A. Podmore, M. Stewart, mm-hmm. or a whole team list. Tumbarumba, fullback, Barry Goldspink, wink, a uh, wing, Don Goldspink, <laughs> wing, Ron Goldspink, <laughs> inside centre, Gavin Goldspink, Bob Goldspink, Bill, the entire team is, is the Goldspink. <laughs> 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 There's not a single non gold spink on this Jesus team. Jesus Christ. It's actually pretty similar in Tamora. Yeah. yeah. They're all related to each other. Like Trent Barrett's related to Luke Bruce, who plays for the Hawks <laughs> in AFL. Yeah. Then that what's his name? Lee Martin. That mm-hmm. Lee Martin cousin Martin of Penrith. Barrett as well. Oh, um, right. They're all and they so because it's AFL and League, it's fairly even, right? It's fairly even, but a lot more rugby league players mm, go uh, famous. Yeah, famously. There. But I think there's another – there was a guy who played for the AFL Giants who was Luke Bruce's cousin as well. Um, oh, so it's just a family affair. Yeah, family and cousins. then there's like Hinchcliffe, McCrone, their brother-in-laws. Hinchcliffe played oh. for the Storm and Josh McCrone, who was in my year, played for the Raiders, Raiders yeah. and Unreal. Panthers. I used to love Josh McCrone. Bad head. Oh, <laughs> head on that. I <laughs> had to live – grow up with his head. <laughs> 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 I can attest it didn't get any better. <laughs> So it was a big thing. Was it like, um, was was it like on Saturday go down and watch the local teams? Was it a big community spirit around it, or was it just like? Yeah, yeah. So it, like everything revolved around sport, footy, sport, footy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Right. footy, farming, and um, the pub. Okay, I thought you were going to say yeah. fucking or something. <laughs> 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 yeah. Also that, yeah. of course. The pub, there's a couple of What's the big pub, pub in town then? So we've got the Tamora. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, we had we had seven at one point. Wow. So wow. Jeez, Yeah. So decent. there were like four, four, I think, on the main street and then two or three on either side. For a town of 4,000, that's yeah. a good fucking effort. Yeah, we, we love it. And you only went to like two of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was like scum. the Tamora and the Westie, and yeah. that's where the Westminster. So these were the two that we went to growing up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the railway, there was a railway, a terminus, a shamrock, which had a Chinese restaurant in it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, you know, a little column yeah. A, a little column B. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, the that's Grand, cool. the Royal... Um, I think that's it. Yep. I, I did yeah. see an article because I was doing a bit of research and I don't know which pub it was, but it was one of the ones 
what's the street that the railway's on? It's a main Hoskins. Hoskins. So it's at yeah. a pub on Hoskins, which might have been two or three of them. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, and it was like um, just as during COVID, and it was like they got done for not having a COVID sign-in register and all that. And the publican oh. said his response was, "He doesn't speak English." <laughs> 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 and I was like, surely that has to be a GR, right? Yeah. Like, so I was trying to find which one it was. But That's the, probably the royal. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. that you can tell, I was just like, I imagine small country town, like, that's 4,000 people. It just, why do we, you know, yeah, COVID yeah, yeah. come on. And so some it. like dibber dobbers come in there. But um, yeah, <laughs> I, I love that there's seven pubs yeah. and you guys are driving 100 Ks from Maccas. It's kind of like, <laughs> <laughs> really dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. After a big night out, you just want a Big Mac, you know, <laughs> get drunk driving yeah. for like two and a half hours. The whole fucking Vegas people, strip of pubs. People you know. drive there, they don't even realise. They're like, gee, tomorrow looks different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, is it a? Is it like a? So it's a proper country, like farming. Is everyone yeah. like like you go down to the pub and you just know everyone there, yeah. like you know the families, you know yeah, this oh, guy, you know that. Every everyone's related, I mm. think. Mm -hmm. And it's funny. So I, my dad's American, my mum's English. They we ended up there because my dad got sent out west after he did his teaching degree here. Mm -hmm. So he got sent out west. So I felt like we were the only people in our town not related to each other. <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> like, there were Explains the weird heads as well, <laughs> you know. <laughs> it was always jokes about incest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love how that, as soon as, a, as soon as the city is less than a million people, and was like, oh, they're all rooting <laughs> each other's rather. They're rooting animals. They're root it's like Newcastle, like uh, Tasmania, yeah. the country towns, you know. That's just the whole vibe. I sort of believe it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It certainly probably happens. Falling, thing. Oh, for sure. Especially if you're like distant cousins, at least. A hundred percent. Especially your yeah, small town, and I, I bet a bunch of young people probably uh, leave when they're eighteen. And so if you're like twenty four and single, and it's like oh, I'm looking <laughs> yeah, around, yeah. I'm like related to him, related <laughs> to him. You know, your cousin options. Cousin starts looking good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Start yeah. justifying it. They had to go up. Where did we meet? Oh yeah, it was a family reunion. <laughs> <laughs> I did see because I love the Facebook community groups, but there's one there called "Tomorrow Yes No," and it's a uh, this guy's posting a yes or no question all the time. Um, on this okay. Facebook group, and some of them are pretty funny. Um, <laughs> so which uh, it's just a it's just a literal yeah. page called Tomorrow Yes No. So I don't know, uh, but he's been going for years. He probably would know him. Um, but this one blew my mind: six dollars ten for a schooner at the Tomorrow Hotel. Yes or no? People are blowing up about a six dollar ten <laughs> schooner, <laughs> <laughs> and people are like, "No, ridiculous, ridiculous." You know, um, Tomorrow oh, Yes No. God. Should Gazan Gazanes Pizza Gazans. Gazan's yeah. Pizza do snack packs? Yes or no? That got controversial. Is that, <laughs> and he says bit because he says best pizza in the Riverina, and people oh, are very oh, up oh. about that. Is it? Do you agree, Gazans? Best pizza within eighty kilometers. <laughs> 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 uh, and then uh, this one, this one is interesting. It's just a bit more esoteric. But uh, should all cans be pull top, like beetroot, pineapple, baked beans? <laughs> it's like, can we pull a pull top ring on? And people are like, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Just get a can opener. It's not a big deal, you know. But hey, I, I'm on board with that. So am I. Um, yeah. And then I never understand what what. Why some things uh, pull top and some things yeah. aren't. Like you beat, you know, get a tin of beetroot, you never find a pull top never one. Never find a pull top. Because oh, imagine pulling it and then just juice going everywhere. Uh, Maybe that's it. That could yeah. be it. Almost certainly it. There goes Drew's We've shark gone. tank pitch. <laughs> <laughs> a non-juicing beetroot can. <laughs> if you really believe in yourself, do it. I should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love you. Oh, I know. Yeah, I yeah. love you on Shark Tank. <laughs> and then Mark Cuban's like, well, why don't you open it? You're wearing a white t-shirt. <laughs> just clung all over you. He's like, I'm asking for $4 million for 5% of Drewy's pull top. <laughs> um, again, then it gets, starts getting a bit, uh, a bit oh, no. juicy. Uh, licking ass, yes or no? <laughs> Honest answers, have you done it? <laughs> <laughs> what a wild left turn. I know. <laughs> From pool tops on cans to eating and a then, can. And this one made me laugh. Saying no more Mr. the nice guy when you're losing in a game of footy. <laughs> which I like. <laughs> Yes, yes or no? that's so that's specific that he did it. I Someone know. made fun of him. He's like, oh, I'm going to ask the team. That's, that's a yes for me. You yeah. should be able to say no more Mr. Nice, nice Guy if you're losing God, a foot. I'm going to join this group. It's yeah. great. There's so many. But then they, it's clear, I reckon you would know of the people or the people mm. of the people because then it starts getting a real inside baseball because it's like, 
Uh, tomorrow, yes, no. Is Hamish Starr a dog for signing with the Gundagai Tigers? <laughs> <laughs> and then first response from Hamish Starr, no, money talks. <laughs> <laughs> Hamish! And then uh, on, This man. is the, one of the greatest Facebook groups I, I think we've uncovered. Really yeah, yeah. yeah. And this then, is like rivaling Wagga thumbs up, thumbs down. It's very <laughs> Wagga thumbs up, thumbs down. Oh, it's very honestly, similar. Yeah. And then uh, the, this one was my favourite though. Um, tomorrow, yes, no. Did Abe discern a year ban from the Westie? First response from Abe Wooden, no. <laughs> <laughs> and then Abe. Jesse Cook says, well, I've had three life bands over the years from there and I walk in like nothing happens. I think you're all sweet, Abe. <laughs> yeah. And Abe writes back music to my ears. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, that sounds about right. That sounds about right. Yeah. The West, so the, you said the, the Westminster? Westy. Yeah, yeah. Is it a bit of a rough one? Do you, it they, was known as the zoo. <clears throat> the yeah. zoo. Yeah. Yeah. I remember when we, we first, I loved it. Like when I first turned 18, you could still smoke inside. Mm. So it was like, and it really was packed in there and it was disgusting. Yeah. 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 It, was, it was, yeah. That's come up zoo. a few times because when, I think I got about a year before yeah. they banned it yeah. when I turned 18. Yeah. And so you'd be about I the got same, two right? glorious two years. Two glorious <laughs> years. And I was fucking and darting it up. <laughs> you just, like, it. I've erased that time from my memory, but you'd come home from a night out and you'd have to wash all your clothes. Yeah. yeah but you couldn't get it, literally get into bed without no. having yeah, a shower. It awful. Yeah, slow. but the trade-off, you're playing, <laughs> <laughs> you're playing fucking pool with a dart hanging out your yeah. fucking mouth. That's the coolest shit in yeah, the world. that is pretty cool. Yeah. I remember when my best friend turned 18 and we went to the West and she gave the bouncer her ID and she was really excited. And they were like, didn't you turn 18 months ago? So they, was it the sort of pub where you're 15, you go there with your dad or whatever and it's like, who cares? Like, are they a bit yeah, loose around the rules? Definitely. Around underage there there are a lot of places where it was like low key. Low key, cool. Very, very low key. Yeah. 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 Like, like don't that. tell my parents, but oh, okay. <laughs> what, I wonder what sort of stuff people. What are what are you doing to get a lifetime ban from West? <laughs> go ask <laughs> someone taking a swing. You go to the royal. <laughs> and they spot as you as in that. there. And you <laughs> no, you're safe in the royal. Yeah, Sweet. really. Was yeah. there any pub that was just like off, not off the limits, royal. but that was the yeah, real the rough royal. one? Yeah. yeah, real rough. Yeah, you never went there. I think I walked in there once, and yeah. it was just not fun. Oh, it just wasn't. It was known as the pub that all the kind of quote unquote bad people, which I didn't even know what that meant yeah. then. Mm. Like probably people that just dropped out of school. Yeah. <laughs> like I don't yeah. Tomorrow's really weird. Have you been recently? Like have they gentrified all those pubs? Yeah, they tried. Like Luke <laughs> <laughs> Luke Bree, oh yeah, actually the railway. Someone bought it I think just a year ago and they tried to introduce like no high vis. <laughs> And no thongs and stuff. And right. the whole town blew up. <laughs> oh, that, I saw that yeah. article. Yeah, it was yeah. behind, it was behind a paywall. Yeah. And it was like, yeah, no yeah. high vis, no thongs. And yeah. it was like deliberately like going like tradies I and mean, stuff. Thongs. And that's literally the whole town is <laughs> yeah. tradies slash farmers. Yeah, why don't you just say yeah. no cowboy hats, yeah. no boots. Yeah. Like, yeah. because yeah. Or, like, I no get, guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I understand, like, I think it's a bit ridiculous, but thongs, you'd be like, all right. But high vis, like, it's not like, like some guys are just knocked off at work. And what does that mean that they're a bad, like, unless it's a, trying to be a classy cocktail well, bar. Yeah, yeah, it's exactly like, right. What do you expect? It's, like kind of it's not like no psychic thing. jackets. They do sometimes try to do that. Right. In tomorrow. Mm. But you got to fucking like, know your audience, you yeah, know? Like, yeah. that's that's such a weird fucking move um, of the pub. There, there's a Royal in Queen Band as well yeah. that used to be really rough. And then there was the top pub and the Royal were the two, like, very, very rough places. But, like, I go back now and they're both, like, the most family-friendly pubs. There's kids running oh, around. Yeah. Like, the gentrification wave has just yeah. swept every Every pub, I go, maybe every the time, tourists. Every time I go back to out. Newey, every <laughs> four years, the the pubs, the the ones I used to go to on Beaumont Street in Hamilton, would they'll have like they just have a new image, and it was like the one that was the Darrow one that was shit and everyone hated became a gay club. And it was like, and I go back there and it's like a booming gay club. Yeah, right. Three years later, I go back and there's like eighteen, like just it's a straight like party vibe it, it just keeps reinventing himself and i'm like i remember like i wouldn't fucking set foot in this place because it was dodgy sounds like it's run by the it's always sunny in philadelphia yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, it's something like that they always they always just like they get a bit of money or they do a refurb yeah. and then it's a whole new clientele yeah, right. and i can imagine there's some old 
like tradey guy who's been sitting at the bar through all the chaos, through the gay nights and everything. Just like, just like I'm not leaving. You know, like, <laughs> what a bloke's in tonight. Yeah. <laughs> he loves it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that oh, always, they keep they keep two years old on tap just for this one yeah, bloke oh, or rushes or something well. like that. I love a bar that has two years old. Yeah, I love a two years old. I was going to bring this up. Like, just I mean, it's ridiculous. But if anyone's out there, I went to the Livingston Hotel. Pint of two years old, seven bucks. Oh, what? They live. They live. Where's that? Uh, it's up on. Um, um, I love that you both. Yeah. <laughs> it's because it's literally up the road. This is a podcast where people don't know where we live. <laughs> we they can see us, most of them. Yeah, we just point a place. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, on Pe- the corner feeling. of Pe- Should we uh, do the plugs now and go to the Livingston? Petersham. Petersham. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. A 10 minute walk from here. Oh, yeah. yeah. But it's, um, wow, that's. Silly. I don't know if, it, like, maybe it was a quarter man happy hour or something, but I don't think so because Hannah's beer was fucking expensive. But mine was $7.70. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't believe it. I love, oh. I love an old. I love an old. An old, yeah. old, an old pub and an old at it. It's yeah. great. I love yeah. it. Um, another big thing I saw was the Aviation Museum. Mm. Oh, yeah. Does, did you, is that like a school excursion spot or is it just purely for tourists or it's, just. Kind of purely for tourists and people over 60. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like my parents love it. Yeah. Yeah. You're not having your 18th there. You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> let's go check out Although, the fucking moth. The, uh, clear the hangar. Tiger moths. Yeah. They yeah. have two um, Spitfires. Like World yeah. War II Spitfire. That's fucking cool. Yeah, have, you got, have you got more on this? Because I got a bit on it. So um, no, no, go yeah. for it. Because uh, it, it's more, it was a little bit about the Aviation Museum, but it's more about the, the founding of it. Kevin um, Lowy? Uh, da- David? David Lowy's son, Kevin. Oh, okay. Because yeah. we right. covered David Lowy in an episode. I think you covered him. He was like a billionaire. He's a Westfield dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, so this is his son. Right, yeah, okay. So he's it. just a plain nerd. Yeah, yeah. And Tamora, I think, is really flat. Yep. And they used to, in World War Two. they would practice something like parachuting. Yeah, yeah, they were trained like, pilots. What was, yeah, training pilots. And they they do the, what's the thing where they pull the cord? Par- parachute. Parachute. And they jump out. Oh, oh, sorry, eject. they like eject. Yeah, yeah. Right, They okay. would do like ejection training there. Mm-hmm. And yeah, so I think in the mid or like early 2000s, Kevin was like, oh yeah, let's turn this into an aviation museum. And does he live local? Yeah, he lives just like on the outside of town. Because David was yeah. the interesting one that I found out because it's not so much about that museum, but he also, David, um, he was like, he worked for Westfield. Did, did we talk about well, it? Yeah, we covered him. What did we talk about? I, th- I think Jamie's ho- did his whole story in one episode. Yeah, really? maybe. I don't remember. I don't remember that at all. <laughs> yeah, maybe about I'll... the music stuff? Maybe this was one of your dream community <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> episodes. I, I mean, look, I forget most of it. Well, I'll just touch on it because I, d- I don't remember this at all. But basically, yeah. he, he worked for Westfield for ages and then he basically stopped being a managing director and then obviously he had all his money and his son must have been uh, helping with this museum. But David Lowy also was uh, a a hobbyist pilot and he was doing like aerobatics in a like pilot tricks you know what yeah. i mean like yeah, flying yeah. tricks loop de loops and shit loop de loops and shit and he actually won this is the the dad won the australian aerobatic championship unlimited division 1998 right so he won this he was still the manager of westfield group oh, that's and cool. then they were said he got invited to compete in the world championships and he's like I, he couldn't go because Westfield wouldn't sign off on it. And he's like, I was managing director and it wasn't an available for me to go. So he's this like rich oh, guy. Oh, no, that is – sorry, I just realised David is the guy. And yeah. it's Frank that's the dad. That's right. The, oh, that, Frank is the yeah, who we Yeah, so covered. that David was the – he was an executive or whatever. That's, yeah, 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 yeah. So Kevin is no one. Kevin, <laughs> <laughs> Kevin is the one I think every country guy is going to <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, fuck, I fucked up my race. So cheer. <laughs> Alex is fucking. Oh, I was like, holy shit, this doesn't sound. Uh, Kevin, yeah, no. Who's Kevin? <laughs> <laughs> we'll Kevin. find out, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin's been a life band from the West End, <laughs> probably. Yeah. But this is the wild thing. And I, I, maybe you've talked about this, Jamie, because it's fuck, it's wild. But this, so he, you know, he did all this and then he funded this museum. And it's like apparently one of the most renowned yeah. um, aviation museums in the world. Mm. The like o- it's worldwide. It's the only one I think that. Where all the planes fly. Yes, that's yeah. what they say. Every yeah. single one is flyable. Or whatever. Oh, They're cool. not just that's all. Cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but he also, then he quit Westfield. He just became like on the board. And, um, you know, he put all this money in that. And he was flying and he sort of semi-retired. Yeah. This is a guy who was born, this is uh, David, fif- born in 54. <laughs> not Kevin. Yeah. Not Kevin. Um, so, <laughs> so in like, when he was sort of like 46, 
Um, he sort of semi-retired from executive life, but still involved in stuff. And he bought an acoustic guitar, <laughs> taught himself how to play guitar. At f- age 50, he started jamming with Doc Nelson from the Angels a little oh, bit. Right. <laughs> he then formed a band called Mink in 2006 with a couple of rockers, and they they sort of made a bit of a storm in the New York underground rock scene <laughs> what? dude this is so I and then no idea then in 2012 at the age of 58 david quit the board altogether yeah. and he formed a band called the dead daisies okay so he's a billionaire right <laughs> he's formed this band called the dead daisies and the dead daisies he then went out and started getting people for this band this is some of the people have been involved in his band guns and roses rhythm guitarist richard fortis um, the bass player from Thin Lizzy, the keyboard player from Guns N' Roses, John Stevens from In Excess, Glenn Hughes from Deep Purple, Black Sabbath, John, uh, the guy, uh, the, one of the keyboardists from Journey, the basing, the bassist for the Rolling Stones, Daryl Jones, the White Snake drummer, Brian Titchy, Nine Inch Nails drummer, and then David Lowy. And then uh, <laughs> like he had all these people and there's a, the current lineup, 2023, it's still alive today. It's like a, a band. list of every famous bands and the other guys. Yeah, <laughs> that's, like, what it, that's what it said. It's not Keith Richards, it's, it's not Mick Jagger. Yeah. Yeah. So it's one of the other guys. So he's a re- it's Kevin Jones. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's 20. So his current lineup, so they were just people who have been in the band, but this is his band line, lineup right now. The, the guy who was, uh, the vocalist is, was, was in Motley Crue and Rat. Um, the lead guitarist <sighs> was in White it. Snake. The drummer was in Foreigner. The bassist was in White Snake, and then rhythm guitarist hair metal like royalty, metal. Yeah. David Lowy. They've toured with ZZ Top, Aerosmith, Leonard Skinner, Bad Company, Judas Priest, Kiss, White Snake, Def Leppard. They and they also headlined the Woodstock Festival in Poland, <laughs> watched mm. by a quarter Clang. of a million people. <laughs> and so this is this is David Lowy's photo on the Westfield board website. <laughs> <laughs> So cool. So it's so this he's, guy. He's in a suit. He's in a Wait. suit and he has like the a, a long, long blonde hair. rocker white hair. And like all tomorrow gets his planes. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. And exactly. he should open like a Woodstock yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. He should open like a, you know, hair metal museum or some shit. Get some famous like <laughs> Absolutely. guitars. And, Absolutely. Yeah. yeah and it's like he's a he's Facebook on Facebook the Dead Daisies have a million likes. There's photos of him um oh I've got a photo. There's a photo of him and playing um uh a show in like Ontario. This is this is the this is him there. Oh wow! Yeah, and he's got yeah. this big. So he's got fans like he's got like a flying V guitar. So he's, he's oh like this God. old. Um, can you see that? And he, yeah, but he's, he started the it's aviation good. museum. He yeah, fun, yeah. And that's yeah. the important thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's just the most eccentric <laughs> son of a billionaire. Yeah. And he wasn't like a black sheep, you know, like no. um, Succession. How there's yeah, yeah, the yeah. son who does his own thing. He was the he was the good the eldest son. Yeah. Did it all, managed it, made billions for his dad and all that. And then he just went. He loved flying. He did the aviation museum, and then. He just the went, you know what, I'm going to be a fucking rock star the rest of my That's life. So At the age of 64 or something like Still touring to yeah. this day. Must be nice. Must yeah, be nice, I yeah. know. And there's a lot a little of... A bit of like buying friends energy. A <laughs> little bit. High, t- high turnover. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. It's, there was a lot of articles. And I think there's a lot of... Um, there's a lot of like, I'm going to spend a million bucks on like PR, someone to write the Wikipedia article yeah, and stuff like yeah, that. Because yeah. there was, And there's a lot of interviews where it's like, we address the elephant in the room straight away like is this a vanity project and he's like and someone was like oh it's just a it is a vanity project da, da, da. like he's just like any other billionaires with yachts and flying to the to the moon i'm like it's a little bit it's a bit less like it's it's a little bit less toxic than being like a yacht billionaire you know yeah, yeah, just yeah. being like a grunge rocker yeah, performing a to hobby, 200 right? people in yeah, on, yeah. in a you totally, know it, totally. it's totally oh, i could bring sick music festivals tomorrow he should yeah. that would that would rule we but should yeah. close out the app with one of their the songs yes yeah. no facebook group yeah yes, <laughs> yes no <laughs> dead days <laughs> <is coming laughs> <on> tomorrow <laughs> yes no woodstock tomorrow yeah <laughs> that's the question that's it. i um i went down a bit of a um rabbit hole when i started looking at this aviation museum stuff and found something that i had no idea about a little quirky and this one's you know for anyone who listens and has a pub trivia team this question may come up at some stage mm-hmm. did you, do you guys know the first recorded flight in australian history you know did you know who did that Mm. so this is like on record um just a bit of background 1909 six years after the wright brothers flew in america Mm -hmm. um the australian government was offering a five thousand pound prize for um the first australian flying machine suitable for military purposes and that i looked at it was about 800 grand in today's money so they put out this um all these contenders you know because it's like 
the start of aviation, it's like backyard tinkerers making mm. their own little mm. planes and who can do it, right? No shortage of contenders. Um, there's a bloke who made a series of glider fi- uh, flights, but they don't really count. There's a guy who imported a Wright Brothers plane and attempted to get airborne at uh, the Victoria P- uh, Park racehorse. Didn't didn't work. Then there's a bunch of people who claim to be the first here and there. Um, but officially, if you look it up, uh, it was a fellow by the name of Eric Weiss, mm-hmm. who um, he's credited with the first controlled flight in Australia for six minutes. Um, you may know him better as Harry Houdini. What? 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 <laughs> the magician, Harry Houdini. No. <laughs> he bought a French built plane when he was in Germany. Yeah. He heard about this like flying thing, the prize. He was obsessed with being the first at everything. Like he wanted to. Um, he, uh, yeah, he just had this ego of like, I've got to be the first, I've got to be the first, I've got to get this record. <laughs> he disassembled this plane, shipped it over. Because um, he, he has no ties to Australia at all, right? No ties. He, he was just, um, he came over for a bunch of shows. Yep. He wasn't even a pilot. Um, the was peop- anyone a pilot though? <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah true, true. <laughs> but you know, he'd never flown, he'd never shown interest in flying. The people who designed the plane more or less gave him an, an instruction manual and a French engineer went with him to basically be like, this is what you do. Like, I'll start the plane, but you yeah. go up and fly, right? Um, he crashed on his first attempt, broke the propeller. Um, <laughs> they they fixed it. Uh, another dude from Melbourne then, like, this is like in between. He, like, tries to fly. He crashes. The next day, a dude in Melbourne is like, I'm going to beat him. And he wrote his plane off. So they're just crashing planes <laughs> left and right. Uh, and then the next day, Harry Houdini pulls it off. He made three flights in w- in the, the one day. Um, so six minutes that for some reason uh, that this was like the, why it counts as the first one, six minutes at a hundred feet in the air. Uh, he never flew again. Jeez. He made just one. Did it to be first. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, leave it at the top. Uh, I would, hey. Yeah. <laughs> but there's like, there I'd be going to every, I'd be going to Fiji and I'd be getting all the <laughs> records. Yeah. I'm doing the, just getting number one in every single trivia. Um, record. there was a guy, um, in South Australia, th- this is controversial. The guy in South Australia flew for five and a half minutes the day before. And he's like, that was fucking me. But if you look at, you know, the official record, it's Harry Houdini. Uh, and then, like, I was obsessed with Houdini when I was a kid. I used to, like, hire out his That does not surprise of me. Of him. <laughs> but listen to this. I was started, to, like, looking at the, all these old newspaper articles about Houdini in Australia, for, like, on Trove. And then, yeah, you guys will love this. Um, this is from a 1910 interview in the newspaper with Houdini. Direct quote, it is good for me that I'm not a tall man. (laughs) Why? I must be quick, quick. And a tall man is always slow. (laughs) Uh, Man of your heart. It is so (laughs) good. The best men are not too high. A tall tall man is easygoing, good natured. A short man is sometimes good tempered, more often not so. Angry. <laughs> all the all the mean, cunning Cynical men. Cynical about the world. <laughs> all the mean Wishes his podcast was bigger. <laughs> <laughs> all the mean, cunning men that I've known. Short. Like he's just like <laughs> he, he was a short guy. He right? was he was literally I looked it up as well, he was my height. <laughs> <laughs> so he's, a short he's a short How how tall are you? Uh, like five six. Okay. Um, <laughs> so yeah, Houdini's yeah. just a short king, repping repping the others. That's it. Like, yeah, you can't be too tall in the Air Force, like they don't, they won't let you in. Is that right? Yeah, you gotta have good eyes. Though, I don't know. That's where we're <laughs> discriminated against. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you and your even temperament. Yeah. Was was there um was there a lot of uh, people who flew like just because it because I saw the tomorrow uh, airport. Yeah. Um, the council just let people use it for free effectively, which yeah. which uh, has a lot of people doing um. You know, basically amateur flying and stuff yeah, like that. Do totally. people have like a plane and stuff like that? Like some guy. A lot of people. <laughs> yeah, just some guy. Some guy yeah, who's yeah. just like, I fly on the weekends. Yeah, you gotta go to Maccas. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's up to Doing twelve beers. Bunch of drunk people. Get the plane. <laughs> 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 Would it be quicker? Yeah, <laughs> 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 um, a lot of people do gliding actually. All right, okay. That's, okay. A, that's a big thing there. And what is because. Yeah. Like, isn't that when you're jumping off a f- height or do you, like, get dragged no, by a plane? like, and get you get taken? dragged by um, a plane okay. and then they, really, like, then you glide down in your own little... Little thing. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, so that, they, that happens a lot. Yeah, I used to work with a guy who was building his own plane. Like, <gasps> he was just an IT guy. And How do people like, do this stuff? It's so... It, well, he... Apparently, it's... um. 
uh, you buy bits of it from like a, a someone will design a plane, something, and then they'll uh, they'll you'll send you like pieces of the pi- and you have to put it. It's like Lego effectively, yeah, yeah. but you got to buy all the different parts. It's like, it's like me, myself, and Irene, where the little kids make that plane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> all your references. <laughs> so <weird. laughs> exactly it's just whatever like movie that. I happen to I have know, seen exactly. in the I week. I saw a movie yesterday. <laughs> oh, oh my god, I don't remember that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he was just building, and, I, and I'm like, "What are you up to?" He's like, "Oh, you know, the wing propeller part, like it's part seven. You know, it's yeah, a yeah. twenty. And I've got that part, and then I'm going to build this." And I'm like, "It's like it, paint by numbers." But yeah, you're building but it's a plane. Like, then you go, and then you just crap. Yeah. It's so yeah. weird. You want someone to freaking check it over? When I was a kid like probably seven or something, my dad would always like, he'd just always find these, I don't know where he found these friends, but he'd come out, he'd just have a new guy and be like, all right, kids, (laughs) this is is my mate, fucking, you know, Dodsey or someone. And one time, (laughs) this guy, never met him before, never since, but for whatever reason, this guy was a hobby plane flyer and had a tiny little plane and me and Danny and dad, this guy took us up in this plane, just like doing circles over Canberra airport. And all I remember is like, shitting myself because I couldn't enjoy the view or anything because it was like dad was in the front in the co-part seat this guy me and Danny in the back and there was a spider in between me and Danny <laughs> and I'm just staring at the whole time like dad this fucking spider and then as soon as we land I'm like get the fuck get me the fuck out of here it's so funny oh, no. <laughs> have you seen that video of the guy who's taking off and he it's some little glidery thing and he's and he's flying with someone and then he notices and there's a cat that has like crawled on board the plane <laughs> on the wing like it's an open thing oh, no. and he just he's flying and he just goes and you can see his face drop but he's the pilot and he's like <laughs> and there's a cat just in there like this <laughs> it's so great like they landed everything like that and the That's woman and the passenger or whatever I can't remember she was sitting next to him behind him but she's just oblivious and he's just like oh, well, you can tell he's like we're just gonna turn around now and go back down now real quick yeah the cat's a oh good it's oh, so right. wild that's so oh funny. Well, yeah. speaking of animals, I wanted to know if you have heard of Boofhead the dog. <laughs> Apparently, he's a bit of a famous Tamora. <laughs> you mean Josh McCrone? <laughs> 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 he's a dog. He's signed for the Gun to Go Tigers. He's back in Tamora. <laughs> <laughs> Boofhead the dog. Yeah, Boofhead the dog. No. Yeah, there's an he? article about him. He said it, it was Riverina's very own red dog. A spirited canine oh. that captured the hearts of locals. Maybe. Basically, he was a wandering <laughs> railway dog. Yeah. And okay. that he basically, uh, there was this guy, Brian Hughes, he had fond memories of Boofhead from when he worked on the railway. He didn't like diesel cabins because he didn't like to be confined. Mm. You and oh. me both, brother. What sort of dog? Uh, Can't put a muzzle uh, on He was a black and white fox terrier. He first appeared at Tamora Railway Station in 1959 and soon became known as Tamora's Railway Dog. He had no owner and he spent 15 years hitching train rides across the region but always regularly returning back to Tamora. Is this a modern this thing or back rules. in the day? It's in the 50s. This oh, is what okay. everyone does in Tamora. They leave and come back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Always brought back. And there, That's cute. Uh, Mr. Hughes said he was a larrikin dog who charmed every Everyone he met oh. when the railway <laughs> shut down on Sunday, you'd find him down at the footy because he knew <laughs> there was a feed there. Aww. He'd either get half yeah. a hot dog or a pie. It says Buffhead was so well known, he was made a life member of the Tamora RSL club and he had the tag on his collar to prove it. So he had a little oh. RSL life oh, tag. Right. Said he get he got kicked out the back door and he'd come in the front door. So they had to make him a member. <laughs> <laughs> Tamora Shire <laughs> Councillor Max Oliver said, Mr. Oliver oh, had been collecting <laughs> stories about Buffhead and said it was clear he did whatever he liked. He'd go missing for several days at a time, but he'd turn up again. Sometimes he'd miss a train on the way back and he'd spend a night on the platform just waiting for another train to come his way and he'd jump on it. Didn't matter which way it was going, he'd just jump on. No one <laughs> ever claimed ownership of him, but many people were willing to take him in. They said he was popular wherever he went. He'd go home with anybody, he'd get a feed, he'd come back, and then he'd go to the station and sleep and wait for another train. Oh, he was man. a very docile dog. I can't recall him ever being cranky. <laughs> uh, and it says not everyone was willing to tolerate him, though. Terence mm. O'Shea remembered the dog as a dirty <laughs> mongrel. <laughs> <laughs> who was incredibly Fuck. cheeky. Going to Griffith on the right mail run one morning, I opened the mailbag and there was a dirty, greasy dog lying on top of the Griffith mailbags. <laughs> Terry just in there, just having a good time. That's I booed him out the door Whoa. and when we got to Griffith, he was the first passenger off the train. Said he was a healthy dog for much of his life. In the 70s, he kind of, he got sick and eventually um, was euthanized. Oh. But... Oh. It says his legend lives what? on. What? He's not alive to this day? <laughs> no, dog sorry, from the 50s? I hate to break it to, to, break it to oh. you. 
Um, but it says, locals say he was a legend in his own right and insists the stories being told about him today are accurate. Is a Buffhead story is 99% true, Mr. Oliver said. There might be 1% of exaggeration. However, that might change over the years as his legend grows even further. Mm. And it says that a bronze statue was unveiled in Tamora to honor the dog's legacy. Mm, and so now at the train, I'm apparently I think now. it's at the train station. There's oh. a little bronze statue of Buffett the dog. Oh, what a little kitty. Oh, that's and adorable. That's, yeah. How good is it? A little terriers of the coolest fucking yeah. dogs. Yeah, that rocks. See, I know. When you were asking me about an animal, I thought for sure you would ask me about pale face. Adios. Oh, what's no. that? I want to hear about like that. Oh, is that a horse? Tornado. He, yeah, it's a yeah. Um, Harness racing horse. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that yeah. won a lot, did it? Yeah, I think so. We've it's got a train, crazy uh, name. A statue up in in the main street. Oh. <laughs> You'd hope you won a lot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Some guy just won a lot betting on it. Yeah, <laughs> betting on him to come off. I stuff. need a statue. What for was this horse. The, the Tomorrow Tornado? That yeah, was his so nickname, was, yeah. was it? Yeah. Hail right? face adios. Hail face that's a cool. That, a that sounds like a cowboy. What's the um? What's the capper rep we did with the the famous horse? The famous. I love a town that has one good. A racing yeah. animal and it's the whole yeah. like yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. do you know what I'm talking about? Gun to, win, gun to Windy Gray. Yeah. 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 So it's like the whole is one animal come out of that place. So we love the this whole fucking um, <laughs> old town just goes nuts for this Who, thing. So you mentioned that you knew Max I Oliver. I knew Max Oliver. So yeah. is he like a town historian or something? No. When just I knew it, he was like, um, he's a family friend. Okay. Uh, cool. Okay. Kinda. Um, yeah. <laughs> family enemy? Yeah. <or laughs> <laughs> Well, like, no, his his daughter was in my sister's year at oh, school and okay. then he worked as a cleaner at the IGA that I worked at. Oh. And his wife was our cleaner slash our friend. Right. They won, like, a $100,000 in a scratchy one year. Holy oh. shit. Yeah. That has spread around town pretty quick. Yeah. Right, yeah. You know? That's why you hesitate to say family friend. Now, <laughs> that was a rift over <laughs> <there>. <laughs> who owed yeah, some who money. Know. Imagine nah, winning, like, legends, uh, you like, win the 100 grand of the scratchy in a small town and then... You go to the pub that later that night, <laughs> yeah. and everyone's looking at you, and you're like, "Fuck!" Yeah. You know, yeah, I guess I got to shout everyone. You're around. You're around. That'd be. Right? I'd be like, maybe we'll go to the royal tonight. No <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, get rolled probably. <laughs> so was there any local town scan? Sounds like a small. Like I imagine the rumors spread around town. Was there uh, any local scandals? Do you remember anything like that? Where you, that sort of, you know? none like of note. I remember like, yeah, there was always sort of. Like, it's a very gossipy town. Yeah. I love the rumours. Yeah. <laughs> I, I live for, like, a cop had an affair once. That was yeah. yeah. That's Ooh. good stuff. Yeah. I love That's, that stuff. Yeah. Um, I don't... But was, I think it was all pretty small town. It wasn't too... It wasn't, wasn't yeah. Massive. Not massive. massive news. Yeah. It, it is... Weird. Unfortunately. Yeah. It'd be like, you know, you're... you're Rude to someone at the local shops, yeah. and then she tells this person, that exactly. person, "You can believe this fucking guy?" Like, you know, yeah. And is it because I've been in small towns with people who live there, and it's like you go to Coles or whatever the shops are, and yeah. like you, you can't just go to the shops and go in without bumping into someone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you literally, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> oh, how are you? Yeah, good. How's your mom? Yeah, good. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, is your dad? What's he doing now? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You just oh. can't duck so in it's now. a shopping trip that takes five, five and a half hours. hours. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god, it's quickly gonna drive to Mac as a walk up. <laughs> into like 400 to more people there anyway yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Try after. laughs> and so you worked at the local iga what was your other jobs growing up uh that was it just it i yeah when i was 19 i did cherry sorting in young or oh, wombat which is up the road but mm. cherry sorting yeah great cherries like, like, in young so they don't yeah. get the british backpackers to do that they get you <laughs> up there to yeah, they do but we got up for some reason we got a job it was either that or grain corp but what's that uh, like wheat harvesting. Oh, right. Yeah, I'll take cherries. <laughs> I'll take yeah, cherries. Yeah. We were eating them. They were sick. <laughs> the, yeah. so we're like, you can eat as much wheat as you want. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Unprocessed wheat. <laughs> why, why are the kids going to the big cherries? <laughs> But it's um, all f- um, like wheat's got like rats and shit running around in there. Spiders, oh, yeah. <laughs> heaps of snakes. Yeah. We, oh, we had a locust plague. Like it was oh, whoa. Yeah, yeah, it biblical. Biblical. Because we went through a drought for like oh, pro- nearly a decade, and then towards the end of year twelve, we had a locust plague, and then it kind of came back a year later. <laughs> and the cane toads and like falling out of the sky. Like legit though, it was it felt biblical. Yeah, it's, it's so freaky. Wild. And they people like I remember walking to work at IGA and walking past the cricket pitch, and everyone like they're playing cricket, and then just like hordes of 
locusts are just flying up every time someone hit the ball. Oh, like it, oh, it was so messed gross. up. But it was yeah. so messed up. At one point in the local paper, they put a recipe on like how to cook them. <laughs> <laughs> that rocks. That's pretty cool. What's actually. the way to cook? Yeah, yeah. sauté and bit I, of butter. Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> it, <'cause>, uh, <laughs> I'm getting hungry over here. <laughs> <laughs> I think roasting them. Yeah, yeah. okay. And they're like and high they in protein. Yeah. 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 Have you guys ever eaten anything weird? Like a, you know, how you, cause a witchy to go. Yeah, I've never yeah. Okay Well they I, look yum Because they're yeah, all they, juicy they do, yeah. Yeah. But, you, but not like, alive you, you, Like crickets and stuff Like big oh. I think I've had a, like a cricket Or some like Pon- some sort of like Pony sashimi Oh, oh Jesus, Jesus Christ Keep Christ. that to yourself oh, oh my god <laughs> <laughs> Right after I tell you About the tomorrow <laughs> Yeah <laughs> And it was that hot <laughs> <laughs> No it was in Japan I remember like a white Like a restaurant Where they were just Because like you know, four white guys come in. They're like, "You want to eat something crazy?" <laughs> and then we're like, "Oh, I mean, like raw, like sushi and stuff." And they're like, "This is pony," and we're just like, "Oh no!" And then they just like I have look to say at pony you. to yeah. not even. Yeah, yeah, I know that's like, the worst part. Like, <laughs> yeah, and it could not look like less app. Like it looks like what's just the, like what's the texture of it? It kind of is like. I mean, the the it's like a thing you horse. always say is like chicken, like, but it, it and it looks like fucking raw chicken, which is disgusting. Oh yeah, like, that'll put me. That's on like real hard to put in your mouth. Mm. That's weird because I wait, think what? So it's cooked, but it looks like raw. No, no, it's it, it was raw. It was. Oh. I mean, unless they were having a song, they, they could have been in the background, being like, they think they're eating pony. <laughs> yeah. We just gave them tune, fucking idiots. Jesus Christ! If I'm gonna eat pony, I want to cook it, man. I'm not yeah. eating raw. That's I mean, everyone boring. at this table, if you've eaten a, like a meat pie from Woolies or something, you've probably eaten horse. Remember how yeah. like a couple oh, of years ago 100%. they like were testing the meat? Yeah. It was like half horse and shit. Yeah. Well, it's, I think yeah. in like Italy and stuff, they just eat horse. Like yeah, horse meat. Oh, I'm not actually against eating horse but like what sounds like you <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah it's not the same no <laughs> it's I the mean, raw part more yeah. so than the animal yeah that's i mean like yeah horses are adorable but they're also culling them in the fucking cosiosca national park now because there's like fifty yeah, thousand of them yeah, and brandies. they're all destroyed yeah. Yeah. yeah so it's like it's like kangaroos it's like yeah you get sad about it but it's oh, like delicious you kangaroo know, is so good not that's bad that at is, all yeah. Yeah. really really good kangaroo pie would be we need more of those i reckon yeah yeah is it a and so it's a small? Is there like a uh, local pie shop? I love a local pie shop. Is yeah, there something like so that? So we've got the Roundabout Bakery. Which yeah, it's like the OG bakery. Yeah, um, it's pretty good. The best pretty cafe right is the Waratah Cafe. Okay, mm-hmm. used to have this. It has this thing called Golden Fried Chicken. Which mm. is like just deep fried crispy chicken. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I think because again we don't have KFC. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we take what we we get. But my brother worked there, and we used to like. It used to be a trick where you'd order food and then not show up. <laughs> and what so, was that? What's and the then trick like, here? Well, then the he's shit like your friends who were working there. The oh, shift would end. They were and like, there's, oh, this cooked food that's like. Oh, yeah, that's actually quite clever. Right. That is a good. Yeah. You gotta have two people in on it. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah right. My friends did it. Yeah, I won't say which Chinese restaurant, but. Yeah. Mar- O'Shea's. <laughs> 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 just call up and order a bunch of beers out of the fridge and then don't turn up like, well, I better have them because <laughs> they're going to go off. If so, well, yeah. yeah. IGA was pretty interesting because the guy who owned it had no clue and people would openly thieve in there. Yeah. Like, peop- some people who work there. <laughs> some people like you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> No. So you're working there and you're doing the brown onions trick sort of thing. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Right. Well, you used to be able to print out a receipt and cancel the transaction and it would still print out a receipt. Uh. So it would, and you just fold over the bit where it said, say or cancel. <laughs> yeah. And say, I actually paid for all this and yeah. then take it home. Yeah, but we just do it for drinks like during our shift. But then there was someone who wants her boyfriend put like a whole trolley through <laughs> and like got cartons of cities and stuff and then just like. Did the trick? Yeah. yeah. Jeez. There is that fine line between like, you know, oh, you steal something here and there, yeah. little free drinks, and then just like outright robbing <laughs> <Yeah>. a <them. laughs> <laughs> with a mask. It was like some people, you know, yeah. this girl's boyfriend walked in and had this little trick where he brought a, a balaclava <laughs> and had a gun and uh, robbed the till. Yeah. Uh, so you, when you're growing up there you, and you got uh, all, uh, brother and sisters, right? Like roughly yeah. same or so close I'm in age? triplets and oh. we've got an older sister. Right. Yeah. Okay. Whoa. Yeah, in, triplets. In our kindergarten, there were three sets of twins and one set of triplets. Jeez. Yeah, which is close to a rugby league team. Just yeah, <laughs> yeah. 
none of us played sports. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nah, tennis and volleyball, I think, were the main sports. And and so you all turn 18 on the same day? Yeah, that's how that works. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm just saying, <laughs> is that a big... I'm not, oh, I'm yeah. <laughs> well, okay, so when we turned six, our kindergarten teacher made us three individual cakes. Oh, that's, oh, that's cool. cool. Yeah, the shape of it. In the number six. Mm. Oh, oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> six, six, six. Cake, yeah. <laughs> Didn't That's think that cool. one yeah. through. Yeah, that right. <laughs> if mine was chocolate, it was delicious. <laughs> <laughs> but did you, were you like, uh, did you have a big 18th or anything like that? Or did you yeah. guys, were you drinking underage and stuff as oh, well? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, there was nothing else. Farm to party, right? Yeah, yeah, parties. Yeah, farm parties. Being as a, oh, not so much when we were under 18. Dead balls were massive. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Run us through these because, like, yeah, a dead balls, like, you know, it is it's still like a country tradition. Oh, they're still going on. Yeah. Hundred. I did one. Yeah. So Emma, Ho Emma Holland has a great show that she does where it's like oh, a debutant. fake dead ball yeah, and yeah. Frankie McNair plays so her mum. It's very fun. Deb is girl ask guy, right? It's like Debbie Hawkins. Yeah, yeah stands. so the girl ask the guy. Yeah. And it's, it's, is it's, it's, it's their coming out. Yes. Yeah. It's our coming out. You're in, so the idea is really, really great. <laughs> you're introduced into society as like you're marrying age now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you're, you're a woman. You're a woman now. We're presenting you. <laughs> and it was great. I remember we got presented like you. everyone. So there was the Anglican ball, the Catholic ball. Then every little town around Tamora had a ball as well. And then they had this other great thing called the Deb of the Year. <laughs> <laughs> Which is right. just like it rocks as well because I bet there's a lot of women called Debbie around. Oh. <laughs> the best yeah, Deb, Deb's jewelers. Yeah. <laughs> so the Deb of the year is that a like not only are you beauty putting pageant on show, it's a yeah. beauty pageant, hundred percent. Right. Oh. And um, I remember though they it was like when you get presented. So we we got presented. At, every ball was at the town hall. We'd be presented on stage, and it would be like Alexandra Hudson. 17, works at IGA. <laughs> 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 and then it'd so be the cute. next person, works at IGA. <laughs> <laughs> next person, robbed IGA. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and my, yeah, my brother got kicked out. My auntie bought a bottle of um, Bundy rum <laughs> <laughs> for my brother. And her and my uncle had just split. Oh, no. And she wasn't, she wasn't related to us. And she brought him this bottle of rum and for years we never said anything my parents were like who bought you this ah. this, this bondy bottle and we all took it like we didn't say anything for about eight years <laughs> no <laughs> snitching was, was old, old auntie, <laughs> but yeah, yeah he got kicked out of my deb i remember going to my friend's deb and it was just after the formal part and the guy her partner who was in my year was having a beer and he got kicked out Jeez. they'd always have to bring security in from canberra <laughs> <laughs> the <guys. AFP> in. <laughs> Where they make them large. Right. And so, at what age is the Deb? So you're like 16, 17. Uh, so that, yeah. yeah, okay. And is and you say your is it your individual party or the or a bunch no, of people so your like age? No, so like ours were put on by like a church. Uh, so ours were like the Anglican Church and the Catholic Church, and so it would and then it would be on just like yeah a night, and so it's all the girls who all were either. In the Anglican Deb or the Catholic Deb. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And what is, is that? Bizarre. Thing. Apart from the whole uh, presentation, is it like then you got to go dance with a bunch? So of there's a you do a dance called the Pride of Erin. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, you do, and then you're you're literally just into, like you're now of yeah traditionally marrying age. So now a remember, bunch of sleazy men are like, now I can yeah, hit on her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's right. <laughs> <laughs> now sitting in the bleach. <laughs> yeah, my my partner's grandma was like, I married my dead partner. I was like, well, he hates me because he had to give up volleyball training <laughs> for six weeks to do this. Oh, what? Oh, because we had to practice. Oh, yeah. my Did God. Did you guys have a dip? No. Did you? We had a no. dip in year 11. What? I didn't go. But, but it, okay, Where we did you grow up? Uh, I grew up in a town called uh, Kellyville. So it was like a oh, suburban yeah. place, but like so our weird. school did Deb for year 11. And they, and they call it debutante ball. Yeah, they call it the Deb and they rented out like, a, I think it was a but hotel. But the hills is quite religious, so maybe that's yeah, it's a religion maybe. thing, right? Yeah, in Griffith, I know that they did it for year, Griffith Hyde did it for the year 12 formal. Yeah, I think they, I would think it's our school still does it because it would be year 10 is your first formal, 
Then year 11 was Deb, and year 12 was, like, leaving form. No, we just had 10 and 12. Yeah, we same. didn't do anything in yeah. 11. I didn't go to... We weren't allowed to have didn't a get year asked. 10 party because the, like, years previous had been so loose. <laughs> and m- I think my sister's year actually vandalised the park. Yeah, so yeah. So, like, we're not doing this. My yeah. year my year <coughs> caused them to ban um, after formal parties. So, <laughs> we, I, I got the last good one yeah. in. Our year 12 formal got cancelled because we vandalised the common room too much. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you had a common room? Yeah. <laughs> it's broken cool. the vending machine. <laughs> I didn't do anything. It was like, I've mentioned this on the pod before, but it was like me- the worst practical joke ever. Where it's like a trend for like the jockier guys in my year used to howl at this. It's because we had lockers with padlocks like that you do like the twisting, not mm-hmm. key operated. Mm-hmm. And so you go to your locker and people would be like... <laughs> And you'd be twisting your lock. It's never happened to me, but I watched it happen a bunch of times. Twisting the lock, three numbers combination. Oh, there's a Mount Franklin bottle full of piss in here. Oh, and yeah. the people love that funny. trick. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why. I don't know why. <laughs> and that cancelled your fucking like, formal? No, no, not for that. We got cancelled for like, like people it be were funny defacing if it. The whole locker was just full of piss. It'd <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> be way better. That would be good. Wait, hold on. Someone stole my second bottle of piss. You know? <laughs> Wow, this person's really dehydrated. Yeah, yeah. Not my precious and, piss. And what about the B and S though? They are. Oh yeah, a, they're a, fun. But they're like a bit more old. You're supposed to be like in your twenties or something, oh, right? Oh yeah. So you, like, like you're allowed to go from eighteen. You're allowed right? to go from eighteen, but yeah. it's again, it, it, it's. Uh, I mean, we've talked about them before, but they're they're uh, they're not so structured, right? There's no like introducing. It's just no, like no. a piss oh, up. Oh no, yeah, no, no, no. It's definitely it's just, just a, a piss up. But the idea is like you're you're about you have to wear men wear suits, women wear dresses. And did yeah. you do the whole paint? Is there yeah, a bit of paint? Yeah, yeah, paint and like food dye, food coloring. Yeah. People have got like they've got cattle drenching stuff and build it full of rum and going around and putting in each other like, you know, just like <laughs> Oh right. Like oh, really? and then your like auntie a, probably. <laughs> 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 she, hey, she's from Newcastle. Hey, <laughs> woman of my heart. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. but like, yeah, the the like pre party to the BNS is almost bigger than the yeah. actual BNS. Everyone showing yeah. their youths off and doing burnouts mm-hmm, and like, mm-hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm. And they always descend, as we've ta- talked before, and they always, the photos at the end are just so, because tra- everyone's oh. just covered in paint or yeah. food dye, yeah. blind. Yeah. And it's just like, it's sleeping sounds- in the tray of the U. Oh, if you're lucky, like, you <laughs> yeah. might not make it there. You yeah. <laughs> was it in tomorrow or was there another? So, Airy Park, which is like 20 minutes up the road. But it was like all the, all all the, the towns. But yeah. not only that, but like, it's kind of on the map. So, people would, it's like, in terms of like people who go to BNSs, it's like they travel. Uh, that's that right. Way. Okay. Yeah. So they're coming from all over. So they could be coming from like Queensland. Yeah. Jeez. Victoria. Tour in the BNS Wales. circuit. Yeah, yeah. the yeah. BNS circuit for sure. <laughs> I've only ever been to the Area Park BNS and I was like, this is wild. Yeah. yeah. But it was fun. There's going to be a bit of a Thule vibe about a BNS oh, guy sure. in oh, his yeah. 30s. He's <laughs> crossing state lines to go to a BNS. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm a bachelor's <laughs> too. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, you're probably wanted for heaps of yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a guy who settles in Darwin. Yeah. 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 Um, you brought up the, the new Maccas um, earlier. Yes. I did. I started like, you know, on this pod, we love looking at reviews of local pubs and especially a local, fu- like a fast food reviewer is so funny to me. Like A, someone who would review fast food yeah. and B, it's always the most horrific shit. But this <laughs> guy, like this guy caught my eye. Um, so this is, uh, what's his name? Sarath Lal. And he's a local guide. He's a, lives in Tamora, and he so he ranked the four stars for the Tamora Maccas. And he starts his review. I recently had the pleasure of dining at McDonald's in Tamora. <laughs> yes. yes, and I must say it was an enjoyable experience from start to finish. <laughs> McDonald's has always been a go-to fast food restaurant for me, and this particular location exceeded my expectations <laughs> in several aspects. First and foremost, the staff at McDonald's tomorrow were friendly and efficient. As soon as I entered the restaurant, I was greeted with a warm smile and a helpful attitude. <laughs> oh my the concierge. God. The counter <laughs> staff took my order promptly and made sure to ask if I had any re- special requests or dietary preferences. The service was quick and accurate, ensuring I received my meal without delay. 
the cleanliness of the restaurant was also commendable. Oh my this lord. This is like a good food guy. Right? I know. <laughs> the dining area was well maintained and the tables were clean and tidy. And the play area was <laughs> so much fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you, you're Why joking. Why are you in there? <laughs> I went on the slide. On? <laughs> not once, not twice, but twice. <laughs> <laughs> not a needle in time. <laughs> like, honestly. I said I can't tell if he's like, if he's being. The because ball to me, pit if I go, was exquisite. I'm, I'm, I'm shockingly pleased if I go to the McDonald's toilets and the fucking seat is connected to the know, basement. Yeah. Yeah. So I'd be like, I'm wow. I'm pleased if I go on McDonald's and don't see someone else's shit in the yeah, toilet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like this is, he says, another, this is way later. There's a lot of paragraphs in this review. Oh, he yeah. goes, another aspect worth mentioning is the availability of amenities and features for families. McDonald's Tomorrow has a designated play area for children, which is well maintained and provides a safe and fun environment for kids. This kid, he doesn't have any kids himself, but he's like still loving that. My favorite uh, paragraph is he goes, now let's talk about the food. <laughs> <laughs> McDonald's never disappoints and McDonald's <laughs> Tomorrow was no exception. <laughs> Like, Has he ever been to Mac? I know yeah. this is—it's so crazy. They've right. got this thing called a cheeseburger. <laughs> I so I read this thing, and I, honestly, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's eight paragraphs, mm-hmm. um, and I read it immediately thinking this guy owns the franchise. Yeah, it feels right. Very like like mm-hmm. maybe he's just trying to g up some business or whatever. So I look into his profile and I start finding some more of his reviews. Mm-hmm. So this is um, uh, another four star three months ago. I recently had the opportunity to visit the Woolworths in Tomorrow. <laughs> and I must say, it was a delightful shopping experience. <laughs> so a tourism minister. Guy, he like? just lo- and, and all of them are like dead set, like f- six to ten paragraphs. But hold on. You- Any other Tomorrow businesses? Yeah. Well, yeah, of yeah. course. Um, so so that's four stars for the Woolies. Then we've got four stars. Uh, I recently- so he's not even giving him five stars. I know. He's yeah. yeah. glowing yeah. thing yeah. and he's well, like. you got to make it seem <laughs> <real>. he, gives <laughs> one f- he gives one five star and I'll get to that. Okay. Oh. So okay. four I'm stars. For that. I recently had the pleasure of vil- visiting Callahan Park in Tomorrow, New South oh. Wales. And I must say, it was an <laughs> absolute delight. This charming park nestled in the heart of Tomorrow. Is like- that the one with your sister trashed or is that a different <laughs> park? No, that was Gloucester Park. <laughs> Callahan Park is owned by the Catholic Church mm-hmm. and uh, the St. Anne's, which was the Catholic Central School, was right next to Tomorrow Public. Yeah. Mm. And that's where we went. Mm-hmm. And so the Tomorrow, we we had a shitty grass area <laughs> and then one side of bitumen. And then the Catholic School got to go out into this beautiful park. <laughs> uh, and so we'd bullshit. watch them, we'd just be like, we hate you. <laughs> yeah. And he, like, he, you know, he, Callahan Park is something for everyone. First and foremost, the natural beauty of Callahan Park is breathtaking. Like this guy just writes in this flower. Oh it's God. so funny to me. I love it. Anyway, oh this is my favorite from old uh, Sarah Thal. Great <laughs> reviewer, by the way. Like this yeah. is the guy that you want when you're reading sure. reviews, you know. Totally. And the, and lo- honestly, the amount of like tourism tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. 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 Because the, the amount though. of people yeah. who go in there and like whatever that that you know like they uh, their pickle their cheeseburger had an extra pickle and like one star never eating here again it's disgusting yeah, and it's yeah, like yeah, this guy's yeah. a little bit on the other exactly. fucking you know balancing it out so this is my favorite one two months ago five stars from Sarah Thal. Mm-hmm. and um you know how hard he is to, yeah. it's hard to get five stars out of yeah, this guy yeah sure I recently had the pleasure of visiting Sydney's Central Station <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, he's insane. <laughs> <laughs> they have a uh, hungry Jacks in there. He loves this fucking place. <laughs> it's like, uh, how many train like, like he must just be like blown away yeah, like yeah, by the yeah. side. This place is cleaner than a McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that just puts everything into context. <laughs> Imagine a four-star toilets if Central Station <laughs> had five stars. Fuck, I love this. Oh, uh, love so that's my boy Sarah Lowell. <laughs> Shout out. Right, shall we ask last the, two? Yeah. 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 Uh, okay, so Alexander, if someone says um i'm coming to tomorrow for a day 24 hours i need something to do uh morning afternoon and night what do you tell them to do where do you tell them to go oh <laughs> morning okay um what's the cafe you said the cafe before Warata. Warata cafe. yeah is that the best like being a role sort of vibe or yeah like fish and oh no, sorry not fish <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> like hot chips and yeah okay yeah Takeaway food. I don't want to be eating fish that far away from the body <laughs> of water. <laughs> oh, that was always my problem. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. No, just like hot chips. Okay. That's the best place to go. I'd say afternoon, go to the bolo. Shit, mm-hmm. yeah. Love yeah. the bolo. The bolo is OG. It's so good. Um, maybe the lake for a morning swim. Okay. Okay. Which is a glorified dam, if I'm honest. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Lake Centenary. It was okay. like a gift. 
Or Federation or something. <laughs> 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 got you a late. Yeah, what if I just got yeah. a shovel? I'm like, don't look over here for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> don't look in here, it's your gift. <laughs> but you can go water skiing there, um, which is a huge thing in tomorrow. So that's yeah, okay. I'd say that's how you say it, uh, Yeah, I guess skiing. like boats on the lake and then flying, a bit of flying. Yeah, bit a bit of, of flying. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah. pretty active vibe. Go to the... What else? The What's a night and then like a night? A, a which of the seven pubs? Yeah, yeah. which pub are you going to go to? Well, I'd start at the Bolu. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then I'd probably go, yeah, railway maybe and tomorrow. Tomorrow yeah. hotel? Yeah. Tomorrow Leave your high visit home if you're going to the <laughs> railway. Yeah, too. well, exactly. <laughs> Please dress up. <laughs> Is, and that, the last stop's tomorrow. That's yeah. the last call. Tomorrow and then if the West, oh, if only the Westminster was good again. <laughs> I'd definitely end there. You'd definitely nice. end there? Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. When yeah. you leave, do you say, I'll see you tomorrow? <laughs> uh, oh. How long? Oh. One hour and four minutes. <laughs> <laughs> waiting, waiting all the time. Well, I'll just yeah. cut that out, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, can you beep it. that? <laughs> <laughs> People think I said some slur. How <laughs> yeah. do you ever say this? <laughs> <laughs> Should have thought about that before you made a dumb pun. Um, and then the last one. The last you? question. Oh, yeah. Where you've attained the highest success in comedy, you've achieved everything you've ever wanted: fame, uh, notoriety, sold out fringe run. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Please? You don't even have to look at your ticket sales reports. Never do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with all the fame and all the money in the world, would you consider settling down in tomorrow? No. No. <laughs> no. no. I had to think about it though. That's um. Look, like a holiday I, house. Oh, my my parents' house is beautiful. I would somehow. Take that. Yeah. Right. So you yeah, like yeah. the physical house. The physical house. Put it on a trailer and look, uh, I, I love visiting for there for about five days. I really do love tomorrow, but it's also like yeah. nice to leave. By all yeah. accounts, it yeah. seems like a very nice place. Yeah, totally. Yeah. We were two thousand and eight friendly t- friendliest town in New South Wales. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's probably shit. still on the banner. <laughs> <laughs> I love that when they say that because you see a sign that will say this restaurant yeah. was awarded cleanliest <laughs> restaurant two thousand eleven and <laughs> so like, what happens the <laughs> last oh, twelve bad years. I like, I like that in comedy where yeah. it's like best fringe two thousand three. Yeah. Like, yeah, that was a uh, two thousand. Yeah. That was twenty years ago. Yeah. So you guys were not friendly for the last uh, fifteen years. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you had one year where you pulled yeah. the socks up. Yeah. Awesome. Beautiful. I think um, do you yeah. have anything you want to plug? Uh, not really because my <laughs> show will be over by then. Yeah. Uh, social d- media. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Follow me on Alexandra Hudson Comedy. Go see Alex every yeah. time you see And so you don't live in Sydney now, but you come no, here a lot. I'm, I'm coming in the end of September. I'm doing a store run. Oh, Great. oh check yeah, it out. Go yeah. check her out. Yeah, so come, out by then. come there. Yeah. Come yeah. check out Alex. Absolutely. Alex, will your show be over? By My then? show? You're talking about? Yeah. Um, yeah, Alex, your show will be over by oh then. Well, so I hope you had a great time. I curse <laughs> everyone who did not come. Um, I'm depressed. <laughs> I'm, probably not, I'm probably dead when you're listening to this. The podcast is me. Yeah, yeah, that's the Holding end of auditions. Me. I hope. Increasingly <laughs> worse <laughs> lineup of guests. My name's Alex. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> no, change the no, logo no, at all. No auditions <laughs> necessary. <laughs> but we should plug a fa- Patreon then? Yes, we have a Patreon. Yes. $5 a month gets you two bonus episodes a month. Let me look at the calendar. Oh, baby. This next week of Patreon, you will get to hear Sam Baring do a history of Sydney comedy. Yeah, talking about his series we're doing. The mic in hand. Mm-hmm. We've also just done an episode on one of the greatest con women in Australian history who loved con and cops. Get into that. Absolutely. And That's then also on follow us on social media and hit us up with your messages. We love hearing from you. Apart from that, Alexandra, that was so much fun. Thank Thanks you so much. much. We love will it. see you, see you tomorrow. next week. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I've got to beep twice. Yeah. Um,